Hello and welcome back everyone. So I wanted to show off the Pro Camera 2D Asset Store package. I, I was asked to review it and uh, I don't really have a lot of negative things to say about it. So this is mostly just me demoing the package and talking about what I like. Um, I would definitely buy this package. I, I definitely recommend checking it out if you're interested. Um, the first thing I wanted to show off, I'm going I'm going to show it off in the WebGL demo. Um, so this is the limit distance. And basically you can sort of like clamp how far your character can can go from the center of the focal point. Um, and it, it, even just programming something like this on your own might take you a full day, um, but it's it's just so easy to do. Alright, so that's it for the WebGL demo. I'm going to show you a lot more scenes in the actual Unity Inspector now. Um, so the first one I wanted to talk about was the Rails scene. And if I turn on Gizmos, Right here you can see it's like a, a full train track, and over here it's broken. So when the, when the character jumps, the camera is actually not moving vertically, because it's sort of clamped to this track. And, and we can move the track around however we want. Um, but then on this side, now the camera actually follows the player. And it, even just simple stuff like that can really give you such an advantage when you're, when you're trying to make your own game. Um, the package also has support for like cinematic scenes. The top-down shooter, um, I, I guess th this is one criticism that I do have uh, of this scene. When you first grab this key, it freezes the movement of your player while it does this sort of like cinematic thing. And I hate it when games like lock me in place like that. Um, but that's really not a, a criticism of the actual camera tracking. That's just kind of a, a small pet peeve that I have with the actual implementation of this level. Um, I, I'm sure that I'm sure that that would be really super easy to fix. So once again, I'm locked in place. Kind of annoying, um, but overall, still impressive stuff. Like like right now, he's kind of trying to show off that the camera is in this room, and and it's locked to this room until I go through the door. Go through the door. We switched rooms completely. If I kill all these guys, let me turn off gizmos. Kill all these guys. Get the key die. It's a lot of hit points. Alright, so we got the key. It's going to start another cinematic. Go through the door. So, just a few things about this scene. Like, obviously, that you could see how smoothly the camera was following the player. Um, it expanded to fit multiple targets. There was that whole boundaries trigger for the door. Um, the cinematic elements. Uh, let's see, what else? The pointer influence is really cool. I could definitely see, that, see this being used for like a side-scrolling shooter. So as, as I move the mouse around, the camera follows it very nicely. Alright, so the last scene that I wanted to show off was the zoom to fit scene. And so this is sort of a Smash Brothers style. Characters move away from each other, camera pulls back, characters get close together, everything zooms in. And uh, it's it's super easy to add more effects to this. Like if we wanted to, we could add a, uh, let's see, pointer influence. Whoops, remove. Pointer influence. And so now as I move the cursor out, it, it affects the overall positioning of the camera. And and it's also weighing the, the position of the character. So now that guy's moving away. My cursor really doesn't have any influence anymore because the camera stretched out so far. But if we come closer together, now the cursor actually has a lot of influence. Um, so something like that might take you a long time to program on your own. It's, it's probably easier and you'll probably get a better result if you go ahead and take the plunge. Um, I was a little bit skeptical at first when I first looked at this because, like, what can it really do, right? Like, it's it's moving your camera around. I can move my own camera around. It, in my mind, like, initially I was like, well, like, how can it really be worth $40? Um, but after playing with it for a couple of hours, I, I really like it. It's, it's really, in my mind, it's definitely worth it. Um, so don't take my word for it. You can still read reviews and decide. Maybe, maybe you're a good enough programmer that you can really nail this on your own. Um, 
but yeah, it's, it's your call. Uh, that's just my two cents. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a lot of fun, and I'll see you in the next video.